Kelly, Steph, welcome to the show and tell us please. What's your problem? I live in the 90s. Nice. The 90s were fun. <laughs> Grunge, baby. Yeah. Uh, oh. Not so much. Not in 2022. But that girl win, but not so much to live in now. Yeah. Not to live in now in 2022. Um, yeah. So we bought the house over a year ago. Uh, it was built in the late 90s and it's still decorated in the late 90s. So we have this ugly eyesore in the basement with, uh, it's a split level house. So when you walk in, you see the upstairs, you see the downstairs. Okay. And so we're working with those two levels of walls, plus this ugly green for mica E fireplace. <laughs> I don't know if it's for mica or what the word is. Compressed wood, I guess. Um, fireplace uh, mantle and it's just hideous and we need to figure out what to do to make it not so hideous this is what you're talking about correct oh god look at it <laughs> mm. it's uh it looks like it's oak oh so just... i know that the trim around is like a vinyl like sticker kind of thing because it has been peeling off in front which mean, the, green, uh, the green the... part no, no the wood the, the wood what is it even real wood Oh, oh the, in, the, in the photos, I just thought it was one of those oak mantles. It's not. I'll, it, I'll, I'll point it over here. Let's see if I can show it's it. a sticker? Well, it comes off. Oh, my God. Or maybe it's just a veneer. Uh, maybe. I don't think I can see it, but it's compressed wood. It's like compressed wood under it. <laughs> So That's it, what I'm saying. Oh, so it's it's it, it, it's a veneer of oak. Okay. Yeah. It's folk. It's still yeah, ugly. It's, it's, yeah. <laughs> it's folk. <laughs> okay. um, when we came to see the house, the walls were absolutely chocker block full of pictures. It was like an art gallery in here. Um, there was even a picture of two cats having sex on the wall. So that should tell you what the lady was like. <laughs> I, I, I got a picture proof of it too. Just if anybody wants to see it. Yes. Yeah. So there's just like. I do. It was, put it up. That's what she said. That's my joke. Damn it. I tried I... to get it in the sale for the sale of the house, but she wouldn't give it to me. Oh. It was actual photograph of cats? Or no, it's art... a piece of art. Piece like, of it's art. artwork. Her husband worked in Toronto and owned an it's... advertising agency. Oh, can you see it? Turn it, babe. You can't. There you go. Oh, my God. I wanted it. Was, it. it was the okay. first painting that was in, as you came in the front door, that's, that's the first thing you see. <laughs> me. I wanted to keep it, put it in my bathroom. It's really cool. Can I see? There you go, Henry. Look at it. There you go. <laughs> grandma's photo? No, it's not it's grandma's, grandma's photo. photo. But that's a good guess, though. That's a good guess. <laughs> you know your grandmother well. So the other thing I noticed, too, is the outlet on the side, the other side of the wall there. That's got to drive you insane and having to plug the switch and all that yeah, stuff over I there, like, right? I like having wires coming all over the place. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I hate it. I like clean. I like clean lines. I like things. I like storage. I like things tucked away. Nothing's tucked away right now, no. obviously, um, because we just we're just at this point. Like, what do we do? And we stare at it. It's this and my kitchen. I the two things we stare at all the time, and it's it's almost like we don't have that design background, so we don't know where to even begin. Right. So. Okay. Oh. What are these things? Is this the thermostat and that's yeah. to turn on the fireplace? Yes. The thermostat, yes, it is, but that turns the fan. Yeah, yeah for the, to blow the heat out, you mean the fan? Yeah, yeah. so like okay. the thermostat, it turns on the stove and then the, the fan is how hot it's been blowing. Oh, so it's not the thermostat for your house. This is, no. o both of these are for the fireplace. Only Absolutely. for the fireplace, yeah. yeah. Oh, fuck. And heaven that's... forbid they put them at least beside each other. Yeah. Uh, you know, you know. <laughs> And just in case it catches on fire, you've got a smoke detector sitting no, here. No, wait. <laughs> we need to replace Listen, it. my dad was a firefighter. You stick them everywhere. No. Um, we had to take the batteries out. So that's why it was there. How long ago? It's not there now. Oh, okay. No, it's not I don't there think. now. Because I'm Is like it that. There? Like... <laughs> yes. Actually, no. It's on the white cabinet beside it. Okay, shut up, Steph. <laughs> All right. So what I did is I sort of recreated this here. So, sorry, Rick, I know that there's windows here, right? And this is also mm -hmm. where the oh, stairs God, are I to go that. upstairs. Yeah. 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 And it's like super tall like this, this opening, this little. Absolutely. Yeah. Yep. Oh, that's awesome. So up here, you can see that as well. 
We yeah, love the, the layout of the house because it because you see both when you go in. Right. Like we love this house. It's just and we need to fix things on it, right? Here it is, as it is now. Yep, so baby. Get George. in. <laughs> oh my god, I love it. So this is a bigger TV. You mentioned you wanted a bigger TV. This is 75 inch. So, oh my God. Because of the fireplace is peeling and it's a piece of shit, you got to rip it out. At least okay. the surround. Fine keep, by me. Keep, keep the insert. Just chuck all that stuff out. Get rid of it. We can paint the brass with a barbecue paint, uh, paint to make it all black. I know you had mentioned that earlier. And so what mm -hmm. I do here is it's very simple and it's relatively inexpensive. There's some parts that you're going to need somebody to custom make pieces of this. But most of this is just Ikea. Oh, love it. You're going to need to do some, maybe not electrical, but at least fishing for what to hide, put the wires. Because I've moved your stuff. This is where like the equipment would be in this mm -hmm. side here yeah when you rip that old fireplace off you're probably going to have to do some drywall work anyway so you'll you'll be able to dig into there and then you can patch that wall behind the tv if you have to mm -hmm. yeah i imagine the gas line is near the ground it's not i don't think it because your you know your gas comes into your basement somewhere. so where, where we, we are, are now, now like the, the front of the, front of the house, house is ground, ground level but around where this back wall is here, here. we're we're probably like five, five feet underground at least here, and it keeps climbing. So our upper floor is flush with our back here. Why are you oh. echoing like that? You sound like uh, Thor or... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. From, from the Marvel Universe. He doesn't have Thor's hammer, Terry, just letting you know. <laughs> oh. But he's got, does he got Thanos' fist? I got better. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, careful. <laughs> All right, so... Let me show you something. This is the breakdown of it. This, these are all, these are just Ikea pieces, the Billy bookcase set. Okay. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Here's a very tall Billy bookcase with two of the Billy's doors and two of the smaller Billy doors with a glass insert on top, two of these little smaller Billy bookcases, and then three of these guys. Perfect. All just lined up like that. You may have to, if you can, when you rip everything out, pull the insert forward a little bit to be in line with, because uh, your fireplace is really shallow right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. These guys are, I can't remember, they're like 11 deep. They're not very deep, but they're a little, mm -hmm. you may have to just pull this a little bit forward. They're not super bulky, right? No, not no. at all. They're only 11 inches deep. That's what she said. <laughs> Michael, <laughs> Come Michael, on. please. There he is. please. There he is. Come on. <laughs> If it doesn't want to move, don't move it. Yeah. I don't want you to, to break your gas line or to, uh, because I'm assuming it's vented. You're underground there, right? The fireplace is underground. Yeah. So it's a big, like, vent just behind. Right. On that and, goes side of the house. House and then goes out somewhere above ground. Yeah. Like, right on the side <laughs> of the house. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, yeah. So just be careful when, if you can't move it, don't like force it because you, you could dislodge the venting or the gas line. So once you have all those in, so somebody will just need to do a couple things here, build a fireplace around for you, right? Mm -hmm. Lock that all in, put the stone, build some sort of a, a surround here. Ikea doesn't make drawers for the Billy bookcase. I just liked the idea of drawers. I think they would be- I really, do too. Especially for Henry. He can open them easily and put his stuff in. But you'd have to get these custom made. Little baseboards along the bottom if you really wanted to. Mm -hmm. uh, you're going to have to fill in some space around the tall bookcase. At the top, it might need a little bit of a spacer just to fill it in because you want it to look like it's right it's to the flush. Ceiling. Don't yeah. leave any opening. And then you'll have to have a spacer on the side, which we need to talk about that in a second too. And then this huge long countertop. Mm -hmm. okay, I love so it. Somebody's going to have to make that for you. Your vent and your outlet are probably in the way. What I did is you can buy those little plastic curvy things that sort of blow the air into another direction. I just stuck one of those on there and 
put it within the spacer here. So we've cut a hole in the spacer. The air is still coming out and blowing into the room for you. That's if these cabinets actually hit that because I didn't have the dimensions of where exactly this vent and this outlet actually hits on the wall. So I'm not sure if this bookshelf would hit it or not. Maybe it would clear it. The, the outlet would definitely be in the way. The right. Vent, the vent so close. <laughs> the outlet, what you can do is what I did here, at least anyway, somebody hopefully can just pull it into the bookcase, cut a hole inside the bookcase, bring the outlet in. If you cannot, because sometimes there's not enough give, there's not enough slack on the wire, you can't uh, pull it through, leave the outlet there. And then there's these things. They're like extension cords, but they actually have outlets on, on them. So you can plug this into your outlet, cut a hole in the Billy bookcase and put this big, this part mounted inside the bookcase. And now you've got your power again and you can even have USBs and all kinds of crap in there. And then that just gets plugged into the outlet on the wall. Great. Yeah, they would just plug into there if, if you had to keep it there, but if you can bring it in. Mm -hmm. That's good. Cause then all the tablets, his tablets and stuff can be going in there instead of laying on the floor floor there now right. propped up against can, the wall <laughs> if you get one with a usb in it you can yeah charge them all right so then as you slide over here we just sort of thought you know what fill that entire space with all kinds of your photos and your pictures objects don't only do uh photos you can get do, i like the little shelves yeah, yeah little shelves put stuff on them you can see my I have a gallery wall behind me here. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I have all sorts of stuff on it. I have stuff stuck right on the wall. I have things in shadow boxes. I have posters hung on, you know, not framed. And see, this is nice if you have, because you said you have lots of stuff. We have lots of pictures. We're big picture yeah. people, yeah. like, you can, you can especially of our kid. He's cute. Look at him. Anything on these gallery walls, like you can put all sorts of, you can put old photos, new photos paintings nude photos nude. Nude. Oh, we'll keep, we'll that'll keep her, people away tell her about the nude photos in this house uh, before <laughs> the whole bedroom was nude photos yeah nude the pics, whole bedroom nudes. was covered in nudes really Wait, yeah when you, of the late of the person you bought it from no no just people just people so oh. she took them off because the realtor told her that you know that it's was inappropriate <laughs> but she left the cat picture on the wall she refused to take it off <laughs> She sounds like she was kind of fun. She, she, well, listen, she was, she was something. She was you something, have, all right. You know, people knocking on your doors, wondering what, you know, what's going on. Like she used to, she was a swinger. People coming <laughs> over for a key party. No, <laughs> no, no, none of that. <laughs> no, I can imagine that. I, I don't want to know what went on in my bedroom before it was my bedroom, to be honest. This is why the house looks the way it looks. Look at the, the nice chair. In the couch, it's like the oh. floor. Like <laughs> my furniture's for sale. If you're interested, oh, my furniture's for sale, and I'm like, oh, thank you. That's really that like, nice. I said, but we've got furniture. The burgundy yeah. velvet. Oh yeah, yeah. burgundy. Sexy. Velvet. Wow. Okay, so see now that we've been looking at this for a long time, now go go back. Oh God! Oh, don't make me do it. Isn't that crazy. Oh, I love it. By by making the fireplace not like the fireplace is the now focal. Well, and right? it's all that whole unit is now one big piece, mm -hmm. which makes your big TV work better. Whereas yeah. before, you had to be careful. If you hung a big TV over that little tiny fireplace thing, it would look bizarre. But now mm -hmm. the, the fireplace is just part of that whole unit. Yeah. And now you can have you fill in that space with a, a TV, and it and it looks perfectly fine because it's all one big piece. Well, and I love storage. I love things out of, I, it drives me absolutely bonkers that there's stuff laying everywhere, right? Like it's just, especially with a little gamer that I have, a gamer in the growing, and he's always got his little tablets and everything like that. There's every, that all comes with cords, right? We so about you have all that stuff away. Staff and Pardon? my son, yes. Yeah, <laughs> both, both. I Henry's Nintendo and uh, tablets and all that stuff, right? So, and books and just have all place to shove all that stuff is great. Well, you also have more room for a bigger TV now too, because look at that's how high your old fireplace is. So we've actually even dropped it a little bit. Oh, so it makes me want to throw up. Bring the TV down. Yeah, it's a big difference. Or even from oh the... god, it's totally different. It's a to it's a different house. Well, it's just brought everything down and long. Yeah, I love yeah. it. 
I need a visual. So this is, this is so, I'm so grateful for this because it helps. And it's, you just stare at this big, ugly space and I'm not a designer by any means. And I, yeah. And I just would never have pictured this for that space. Yeah. It's, it's beautiful. Just the Ikea stuff is like $565. Oh, peanuts. I had just sort of thought, oh, these are kind of interesting. Oh, cute. Neat. Yeah. It's just from Etsy. Which just... Yeah, the little like leather poles almost, right? Yeah. Yeah, they, they just make the Ikea stuff look a little funkier. That's weird. I didn't think Terry liked leather, but. <laughs> <laughs> well, it certainly puts things into perspective because it's, it's a little bit more of there is a, a choice. <laughs> it, it's attainable. It's attainable. That's right. Because it, it is very overwhelming when you buy a house that needs to be almost flipped. And it's not really that it needs to be flipped, but it needs to be updated. Right. It's a good, solid house. And that's why we bought it. We've had, I think, four or five people try to buy our house since we bought it. Really? They knock on our door and say, because it's the uh, archway. Is that it, Steph? The construction? No, I think room? it was Avalon. Was Avalon or something. Whoever made the house, houses in this row are really like sought after construction contract oh, like good. construction people or whatever right hmm. so <clears throat> it's a good house it just she needs a little update and i feel like danny tanner is going to walk through the front door like it's full house <laughs> and that's what it feels like the inside of the house cut it out i'm going to send you images of all this i'll send you the detailed list of all this to help you out if you have any questions call somebody else <laughs> get a hold of us if you want to ask anything we are we're here to help you sort of if you need a little bit of walk through or reimagining or something let us know and, and when you do it we want to see oh it. yeah and we will now listen steph's probably thinking oh shit she's gonna be up my ass about it now yep <laughs> i will good thanks terry <laughs> <laughs>